Many misconceptions persist about Stoicism, often portrayed as a philosophy exclusively tailored for masculine minds. However, in challenging this stereotype, we uncover the universal allure and applicability of Stoicism. Today, we embark on a journey to unveil the profound wisdom Stoicism holds for women. It transcends gender barriers, offering indispensable insights into resilience, emotional intelligence, and personal growth. In this exploration, we present seven compelling reasons why Stoicism is not just for men, but serves as a vital philosophy for women as well. By the end of this video, you'll understand how Stoicism becomes a toolkit for self-empowerment, guiding women toward a fulfilling life. But before we delve into these reasons, please take a moment to like the video to support the spread of Stoic philosophy. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so and activate the notification bell to stay updated on our Stoic lessons. Now, Let's begin our exploration with the first powerful lesson, Navigating Societal Expectations. Lesson 1. Navigating Societal Expectations. Navigating societal expectations is akin to walking a tightrope, especially for women facing a myriad of predefined roles and standards. Stoicism rooted in understanding what lies within our control, emerges as a profound guide in these tumultuous waters. Consider Sarah, a budding entrepreneur in a community where traditional paths are the norm. Daily, she contends with questions and opinions questioning her choices. Stoicism becomes Sarah's anchor, echoing Epictetus's wisdom. We have the power over our mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This stoic perspective empowers Sarah to discern between between societal expectations and her own aspirations. While she cannot control external opinions, she grasps complete authority over her reactions and perceptions. This realization liberates her, transforming societal pressures from barriers into mere external noise that she can choose to tune out. Stoicism fosters internal validation, urging her to value achievements based on personal standards, not societal norms. This shift not only aids in dealing with external pressures, but also cultivates peace and confidence in her choices. In essence, Stoicism becomes a potent tool for women like Sarah to navigate societal expectations. It teaches the importance of focusing on what is within one's control, thoughts, actions, and reactions, and liberates them from conforming to external pressures. This lesson transcends resilience. It's about empowerment and freedom to live life authentically. Now, let's dive into the second lesson. Lesson two, balancing emotional labor. Balancing emotional labor, a task often disproportionately shouldered by women, presents a unique challenge in personal and professional realms. Stoicism, with its focus on understanding and managing emotions, provides insightful strategies for navigating this complex aspect of life. Imagine a scenario where a woman finds herself managing family dynamics while facing professional pressures. Her role extends beyond physical tasks, delving into the emotional support required both at home and in the workplace. Stoicism offers a guiding light emphasizing control over reactions and thoughts rather than external events. Seneca's wisdom becomes paramount. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. By adopting this stoic principle, she learns to pause and process emotions before reacting, whether in a tense family situation or a challenging workplace scenario. 
This transformative shift in managing emotional labor makes her more adept at discerning where her emotional involvement is genuinely needed and where it might be more beneficial to step back. Stoicism isn't about becoming emotionally detached. It's about being selective and intentional with emotional engagements. Moreover, Stoicism teaches the importance of self-care and establishing personal boundaries. Recognizing the need to care for her emotional well-being, she finds value in dedicating time to activities that rejuvenate her spirit, be it through solitary hobbies, physical exercise, or moments of quiet reflection. This self-care isn't a luxury, but a necessity for maintaining emotional equilibrium. In her professional life, Stoic principles help in cultivating equanimity amid workplace stress. By not reacting impulsively to challenging situations or difficult colleagues, she preserves her emotional energy and fosters more harmonious interactions at work. Stoicism becomes a sustainable approach to handling the intricate landscape of emotional demands, offering a sense of balance and fulfillment. This way, Stoicism transforms from an ancient philosophy into a contemporary tool invaluable for women navigating the intricate landscape of emotional labor. It teaches the art of emotional economy. Investing emotional energy wisely and with purpose, this newfound strategy aids in managing multifaceted roles and brings a sense of balance and fulfillment to life. Now, let's explore the third lesson. Lesson 3. Overcoming Gender Bias Overcoming gender bias remains a persistent challenge for many women, manifesting in various aspects of life, from the workplace to personal relationships. Stoicism, with its principles of inner strength and focus on what one can control, offers a potent approach to tackle this pervasive issue. In a world where gender bias often undermines women's achievements and challenges their authority, Stoicism provides a grounding philosophy. Marcus Aurelius's words echo with resonance. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This perspective empowers women to find resilience within themselves irrespective of external judgments or biases. Imagine a woman in a leadership role frequently encountering doubts about her capabilities based solely on her gender. Stoicism equips her with mental tools to navigate this challenge. Instead of internalizing biases or letting them dictate her self-worth, she learns to anchor her confidence in her competence in her competence and values. Stoicism encourages women to focus on what is within their control, their actions, decisions, and self-perception. This stoic approach fosters a sense of self-assuredness rooted in one's beliefs and abilities. Women learn that while they cannot control others' prejudices, they can control their responses to them. Stoicism becomes a guide, not just for overcoming gender bias, but for fostering a profound sense of self-reliance and confidence. The philosophy also emphasizes rational thinking and objective judgment, instrumental in deconstructing gender biases. By approaching situations with a stoic mindset, women can dissect and understand the underlying reasons behind biases and address them with calmness and clarity. This approach aids personal growth and paves the way for creating more equitable environments, whether in the workplace or social settings. Stoicism further encourages women to view challenges, including gender bias, as opportunities for personal growth and character building. Instead of perceiving bias as a barrier, Stoicism suggests viewing it as a test of virtues, resilience, courage, and integrity. This shift in perspective 
transforms how women interact with and overcome gender bias, turning it into a catalyst for personal empowerment and societal change. Through Stoicism, women learn that their power lies not in changing others' biases, but in strengthening their inner fortitude, honing their ability to respond with wisdom and integrity. It's a philosophy that becomes a practical toolkit for women navigating the complex realities of gender bias in their daily lives. Now, let's delve into the fourth lesson. Lesson four, embracing authentic leadership. Embracing authentic leadership, especially for women, involves navigating through a sea of stereotypes and rigid expectations. Stoicism, with its focus on virtue, integrity, and self-awareness, emerges as a reliable compass in this journey, guiding women towards a leadership style that resonates with their true selves. Stoic teachings, particularly those of Epictetus who stated, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do, underscore the importance of self-definition in leadership. This philosophy empowers women leaders to introspect and identify their core values and strengths. It's not about mirroring traditional leadership archetypes often characterized by aggression or domineering tactics. Instead, it's about cultivating a leadership style that aligns with one's authentic self. Consider a woman at the helm of a project team, feeling the pressure to exhibit a certain type of leadership to assert her authority. Stoicism nudges her toward a different path, one where she leads not by mimicking others, but by harnessing her innate qualities. This could mean leading through empathy and understanding building a team culture that values each member's input or approaching problems with a calm, strategic mindset. Such an approach not only bolsters her leadership, but also garners genuine respect and loyalty from her team. Stoicism's influence in leadership extends to handling challenges and criticism, situations where women often face heightened scrutiny. The philosophy encourages a balanced response, neither dismissing criticism outright nor accepting it without scrutiny. It invites a rational evaluation of feedback, distilling lessons where they exist and reinforcing one's commitment to their leadership vision. The stoic perspective of viewing leadership as a role of service and responsibility resonates deeply. It shifts the focus from power and control to stewardship and guidance, aligning with the inherent communal and nurturing instincts found in many women. This redefinition of leadership as a means to uplift others, foster team cohesion, and drive collective success can be particularly empowering. Through the lens of Stoicism, Leadership transcends beyond mere role fulfillment. It becomes an expression of one's deepest values and beliefs. It transforms into an avenue for impactful and meaningful influence, shaped by a clear understanding of one's virtues and a steadfast commitment to embodying them. For women leaders, Stoicism is not just a philosophy but practical guide to navigating the complex dynamics of leadership with grace, strength, and authenticity. Now, let's move on to the fifth lesson. Lesson five, asserting personal boundaries. Asserting personal boundaries, especially for women, requires a delicate balance between maintaining one's own space and fulfilling various roles in both personal and professional spheres. Stoicism with its focus on understanding what one can control, actions, thoughts, and responses, provides a solid foundation for establishing and upholding these crucial boundaries. In the realm of Stoicism, 
there's a profound understanding that while one cannot control the actions or expectations of others, they have complete sovereignty over how they react to them. This insight aligns with Epictetus' teaching. We are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. This philosophy becomes a powerful tool for a woman facing constant demands on her time and energy, allowing her to recognize that her resources are hers to allocate as she sees fit. Consider a professional environment where a woman's boundaries are often tested, whether in the form of excessive workload, unrealistic deadlines, or even invasive questions. Stoicism empowers her to delineate these boundaries clearly. She learns to say no when demands exceed her capacity or infringe upon her personal time not as an act of defiance, but as a necessary step to preserve her well-being and maintain the quality of her work. This stoic practice goes beyond mere boundary setting. It's about shifting from a mindset of seeking external validation to trusting and valuing one's own judgment. This change is crucial for women who are often socialized to prioritize others' needs over their own. Stoicism encourages finding strength in autonomy, making decisions that resonate with personal values and well-being, even if they don't align with everyone else's expectations. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes self-awareness, a key element in identifying one's own limits and effectively communicating them. This level of introspection allows a woman to understand her priorities and articulate her boundaries clearly, fostering mutual respect and understanding with those around her. In dealing with the challenges of boundary setting, Stoicism offers resilience. It teaches that sometimes enduring short-term discomfort is essential for long-term peace and well-being. A woman armed with this philosophy can assert her boundaries with the confidence that they are necessary for her mental and emotional health. Stoicism, therefore, becomes a practical and empowering tool for women. It's not about erecting walls, but about building a sense of self-respect and personal agency. It helps women navigate their lives with dignity ensuring their needs and values are not overshadowed in the hustle of fulfilling various roles. Now, let's explore the sixth lesson. Lesson six, embracing amor fati in adversity. Embracing amor fati, the love of fate in adversity, is an essential stoic practice, particularly vital for women confronting unique challenges. This lesson focuses on the Stoic concept of amor fati, encouraging an embrace of all aspects of life, including adversity, as necessary and enriching. Picture this. Women often face a range of personal and societal challenges, such as ingrained societal expectations or personal obstacles. Stoicism suggests reframing these situations through the lens of amor fati. Instead of perceiving them as unfair or burdensome, women can view them as essential parts of their life's journey, each with a valuable lesson to impart. This perspective transforms the approach to challenges from one of endurance to one of active embrace and learning. The practice of amor fati involves recognizing that every experience, particularly the difficult ones, contributes to personal growth. It acknowledges that adversity can forge resilience, wisdom, and character in ways that unchallenged comfort cannot. By loving and accepting their fate, women can tap into a profound source of empowerment and self-development Amor fati also ties into the stoic belief in the interconnectedness of events. Every challenge a woman faces is part of a larger tapestry of her life, 
Understanding and embracing this interconnectedness can bring a deeper appreciation of life's complexities and a more harmonious approach to facing challenges. Embracing amorphity is not about passivity or resignation. It's an active engagement with life in all its forms. It encourages women to greet every aspect of their existence with enthusiasm and to find joy and meaning in every experience, especially the challenging ones. By adopting the principle of amor fati, women can approach life with a renewed sense of purpose and resilience. This stoic practice becomes a guiding philosophy helping women navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and positivity. It turns each challenge into an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. Stoicism, through the lens of Amor Fati, becomes a philosophy that empowers women to approach life with a renewed sense of purpose and resilience. Now, let's move on to the seventh and final lesson. Lesson 7. Practicing Stoic Reflection and Self-Awareness Practicing Stoic Reflection and Self-Awareness stands as a key element of Stoicism, especially relevant for women seeking fulfillment in their unique life paths. This lesson draws from Stoic practices of self-reflection and self-awareness, emphasizing the importance of of internal exploration to achieve personal contentment and fulfillment. At the core of this lesson is the stoic exercise of reflective introspection. This practice involves regularly examining one's thoughts, actions, and motivations. Women navigating various roles and societal pressures can use this method to gain clarity on their true desires, values, and goals. This self-examination allows for a deeper understanding of what genuinely brings fulfillment and happiness beyond external expectations and societal norms. The Stoics also emphasize the concept of knowing oneself. For women, this means developing a keen awareness of their strengths, weaknesses, and core principles. It's about Building a strong sense of self that is not easily swayed by external influences. This self-knowledge is crucial in making life choices that are aligned with one's true self, leading to a more authentic and fulfilling life. Another aspect of this lesson is the practice of the Stoic Reserve Clause. It's about setting goals and working towards them while being open to outcomes that might differ from expectations. This approach helps in managing disappointments and finding contentment in various life scenarios. It teaches women to pursue their aspirations, but also to remain flexible and adaptable, finding fulfillment regardless of the outcome. The Stoic principle of focusing on present is also integral to this lesson. Often, fulfillment can be hindered by dwelling on past regrets or future anxieties. Stoicism teaches the importance of living in the present moment, appreciating the here and now, and finding joy in current experiences. This present, focused mindset can lead to a more satisfying and contented life. By practicing stoic reflection and self-awareness, women can navigate their life paths with greater clarity and purpose. This stoic approach isn't just about achieving goals or meeting societal standards. It's about a deeper journey of self-discovery and alignment with one's true self. Embracing these stoic practices enables women to live authentically and contentedly making choices that resonate with their personal values and aspirations. As we reflect on today's learnings, it's important to understand that this journey through Stoicism isn't just about understanding a philosophy. It's about rediscovering the strength within each of us, especially as women navigating a world of constant change and challenge. Now, it's time for reflection 
and connection. In the comments below, share which lesson resonated with you the most or how Stoicism has empowered you in your daily life. Your stories and insights are not just inspiring to us. They are vital threads in tapestry of our growing community. Speaking of community, we have some exciting news. You can now join our exclusive, habituated, stoic community. Becoming a member unlocks a host of benefits designed to enhance your journey with us. You'll receive priority responses to your comments, making your voice heard louder and clearer. You'll be recognized with a special member badge proudly displayed next to your name on our channel page. But that's not all. As a member, your name will be featured at the end of each video, celebrating your contribution to our collective growth. Joining our community is more than just accessing perks. It's about forging a deeper connection with a global network of like-minded individuals. It's about growing together, learning from each other, and supporting one another on our stoic journeys. So, don't wait. Click the Join button, become a part of our stoic community, and let's embark on this journey of growth and empowerment together. Remember, the strength of Stoicism isn't just in the lessons we learn. It's in the community we build together. We are stronger together. We are resilient together. We are Stoic. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay strong, stay Stoic.